I guess the big changes would be just the, you know, having the new players on the team. Um, you know, this year I think we have a unique situation as far as the season coming up. We're going to play um, University of Colorado as our opening game in February. Our non-traditional season's a little bit lighter. What we normally do is a, you know, a handful of practices and then we scrimmage. The past couple of years we've been scrimmaging Chestnut Hill College. So we did that. It was great. We were very successful in it. I was happy. Usually the goals never, never change. Um, you know, the, the hope is, you know, the, just getting ready and you take, I take each game one at a time. You know, the, um, you know, the ultimate goal would be to make the NCAA tournament and, you know, make some noise in that. The, the primary goal when we initially start out is we want to be able to make the playoffs in the CSAC and then also be in that championship game, which in turn would give you that automatic game in the NCAA tournament. You know, the fall we were on the field from um, mid-September through mid-October, so I thought uh, we were pretty productive. Um, one of the big things is we want to stay healthy, so we, we were relatively healthy. We had an opportunity to compete in a day with the alumni and an inter-squad scrimmage, and then we went down to Baltimore and participated in a fall ball tournament down there. Well, every year there's going to be some changes just because your seniors from last year graduate and your freshmen, and, and we had uh, two transfers coming in the fall. So, uh, yeah, we know we're going to have to replace some of those guys that were a big part of our success. So, you know, one guy or two guys is not going to replace that group. We need our entire class, you know, our new group players to step in, and we need the guys that are returning to kind of step up and take on new roles and, and, and really assume the leadership. Um, of our program. So I would say our goals are each year are going to be relatively the same. Um, we may take a different way to get there each year because the group's going to be a little bit different. But um, I would say it's to compete at the highest levels of, of Division three college lacrosse. It's to be a really uh, well-balanced team offensively and defensively and to really obviously appreciate the opportunity that we have to compete at a very high level each day. Well, our preseason is over now. We started in September and we finished in October, uh, we have 15 days, and uh, luckily the weather was great, so that was a good thing. And that, uh, and the girls worked hard. They really came up and they and they practiced and they, they did everything we asked them to do, and uh, they gave everything they gave it their best. And uh, we we lost we lost one senior last year. We lost Jen, uh, but we had nine freshmen coming in, so that was the big difference. Right now, we had uh, a large freshman class that came to Cabrini, so we had a lot of girls that we had to look at. Uh, so that's a difference. Whereas before the numbers weren't so great, but now our numbers have really been built up, so, uh, which is good. It's goal. Our goal is just really to get the girls to perform as best they can, to work as hard as they can, to become the best they can.